Hey Gemini, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim Enchantress. I'm here to do your past life reading for December 2019 and it's only for the uh, viewers that are drawn to the country Egypt or the culture of Egypt. Uh, now if you're not drawn to this country or culture, I am doing personalised past life readings for $20 for only for the uh, month of December. Um, so if that pertains to you, um, you're welcome to send me something on the link below information will be below so um, I'm happy to do that for you now Gemini I have picked the card of um, from Egypt from the past life deck and it is the pyramids as a significator card and the card that popped out for you was spouse so it's definitely indicating that you're in a committed relationship back in this last uh, incarnation and it's affecting December 2019 so it could be um, if that you're single at present this could be your future um, per partner and it's likely to be from this past life so in some cases they do say that we you re uh, sorry reunite across centuries and we have that undying bond of true love so this is what's usually um, referred to being a soulmate so if you've come to the um, channel in reference to um, your past life love from Egypt this is definitely the person that's come through so you were in a committed relationship with this person now your personal description from the Lenormand deck is the anchor I'm gonna pop that there now the anchor is definitely um, someone that has blue green eyes dark hair very dark tan they could be um wider on the bottom so heavy on the bottom doesn't mean that you were overweight in any uh sense but you're quite stubborn but dependable back in this lifetime a serious type of character but you were secure so that's describing what you were here gemini now the country that i was getting for you was the uh, government capital um, area which is called the Masa Matru which is M-A-R-S-A and M-A-T-R-U-H is where you lived now your personality is the writer from the Enchanted Lenormand deck and this is someone who um, was very well mannered come across with a kind a kindness about you Maybe you were a messenger back in this past life, but um, you were always very kind and had good manners in this incarnation. Now, your past life relationship or your current relationship, which could be the same, is with a Capricorn here, Gemini. Now, your Capricorn person have, has a lot of stamina. They are very responsible like you. Very patient. Now, this could have been um, a Leo as well, Capricorn or a Leo back in this lifetime, or they're coming back as a Leo. So someone that's uh, very outgoing, has a little bit of an ego, perhaps, but um, brings a lot of warmth and happiness into your life, or they did back in this incarnation. Now, the Romance Angel card states there were some control issues back in this incarnation. And um, maybe this is the, the problem or the lessons that you need to learn in this lifetime. But with the, the anchor describing you as a person or your personal description, it could also mean um, that you worked on, on the harbour, being close to the water. Uh, maybe that you attained your goals back in that lifetime. Now, in matters of love, it does indicate a committed relationship that you're in, settling down, being faithful and stable. But it can also possibly um, point to you feeling stuck in that past life or being tied down with this person. But it's generally positive. So if it was to do with your career here, Gemini, um, it means that you had a permanent position or a long life um, career Definitely, uh, I feel you worked on the harbour or a dock near the beach side and it was associated with boating in some way. So I feel you were male in this incarnation. 
but um, it does refer to something that means a long time so you probably were at this job for a very long time and you like to stay there and this has caused issues um, in your relationship so you need to ask yourself what can you do to feel more stable in this lifetime how can you protect yourself or what can you do to feel more confident it's about grounding yourself and not giving up because your goals are very close and you never got to um, to complete them in that lifetime now we'll go on to your purpose in life is to find that peace and contentment like maybe you were very hard worker back in that lifetime but it's telling you in this lifetime that use the knowledge that you've brought back into this life but do it in a way of mentoring people so you're not doing the hard yards maybe this is um what your purpose is to teach others and mentor your knowledge definitely now what you loved about your past life is you were definitely uh, in control of it but maybe too controlling like I said um, you did have psychic abilities here to Gemini so maybe um, a lot of people come to you for um, advice as well in that past incarnation now with the birds this is representing how you passed away and I feel that you were having lifelong discussions with your partner and this person um, was at your um, side when you died or you both died together but they were a lifelong companion now your lesson in this lifetime is to um, bring more spontaneity and excitement like a child fresh new uh, life be ready for a new start and it's just about small steps here and learning lessons in life Maybe you didn't get to have a child in that past incarnation, but it's definitely a lesson of something new that's starting. Now, we have from the um, Wisdom of Hidden Realms by Colette Baron Reed, the winged wise one. And things are going to start happening, happening for you. You're going to get people coming to your aid that God has sent you or angelic help along the way. So I am going to read a little bit more in depth. To help you understand what this means so the winged wise one is always an ally it never challenges you it represents the aid of all the angels so you you've got all the archangels coming in to help you now when to they when they enter into your realm you must know that your sincere prayers will be answered according to the will of the divine so you've been praying a lot here asking for someone a little bit more stable and new in your life and it also represents divine intervention and potential miracles that are going to take place to help heal and transform you and it's going to happen like magic for you here Gemini so you need to have faith whatever the circumstances is it if it's in a relationship or a job does heaven Heavenly beings are watching over you. And this card is representing um, a glimpse of the future by offering messages. They're going to whisper them into your ears. It's going to come through as a thought. So you will instantly unravel the past and reveal the present. But you've got to be aware of your higher consciousness. Now this is a good time to observe your thoughts. Meditate. Uh, and, you know, just uh, be a bit more relaxed around this uh, this uh, lifetime. So just definitely something in December is, is cropping up for you. Now, um, we'll go on to the south node, which is representing the past. It is the opposite of your sun sign. And um, it definitely... It's about ancestors, family members that are coming back into your life. It could be health-related issues. Like I said, you could have had hip or um, hip problems back in that lifetime and it was long-lasting. You were a hard worker back in that incarnation. So whatever the um, issue there, 
It could be um, that you're looking for stable health now or a deep incurable illness that you had. Definitely, um, I'm feeling um, your lifelong companion is definitely coming back. And maybe you will be committed to this new start with this person. Or maybe you're going to um, be determined to have a child this time around. Now, what else am I getting here for you? Um, definitely feel it's to do with ancestors here. It's directly under the lily. There's uh, definitely ancestors that's um, coming in. And you will reach your goals here. And you're going to have a happy life with this person this time around. It's just that you were so committed to your work life that your relationships suffered in some sort of way. And, uh, you know, um, maybe it's also a visitor that's coming, a long-term visitor with some trustworthy news. So it could be someone from your um, family from the past incarnation. Definitely has something to do with ancestors here. Now, I have the, the clear quartz from the Archangel and Gemstone deck, and it's telling you, or asking you, actually, what is it that you don't understand? You seem to be missing the point in some way. So you need to get some clarity, so you've got a clearer picture of what is truly going on with you. And the angelic help is coming to give you that perspective so you know the past and you know what to do for the future so you need to decide that you want to see the bigger picture definitely get focused stay focused and you really need to meditate definitely for your health issues and you'll get the greater perspective from varying points of view so you've got all the archangels coming in sent by the divine to help you now there is an affirmation for you gemini Archangel Michael wants you to say in your quiet space, I am clear channel of love, light and well-being. All is well in my life. I have great mental clarity, balanced emotions and financial abundance. All of my heart's desires are realized now. The way is always evident and effortless. So that's a beautiful message that's coming through. And it's definitely to do with a spouse returning from your past incarnation from Egypt. And, uh, you know, balancing that life together, not just focusing on your um, your career and career goals and hard work that you put in. This time, balance your life here and um, your health is going to be better this time around as well, Gemini. So I hope this has helped for the month of December 2019. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and very prosperous 2020. Hope all goes well. Bye for now.